Hi everyone, this is Jordan from Movement Tracks, a software solution for Beacon Marketing. And we also run iBeacon's blog, which shares news, tools, and tips for using beacons in proximity marketing. Welcome to the third week of Beacon News of the Week. This week we are covering an eclectic array of Beacon stories from beacons used on bikes to beacons used at South by Southwest and even Groupon is getting in on the beacon scene. First up, Surf Labs. They have produced an iOS based application that uses LinkedIn profiles. It takes public information about other LinkedIn users nearby and allows you to network them. It's optimized for areas that are a bit too small for GPS. So the beacons really help locate precisely where other linked users are. As with other networking based applications, it's, it's fantastic, but it can only work if others are linked users as well. Next up, a, stu a study by Strategy Forum, by at the NFC Forum, found that 75% of users who try NFC love it um, and they prefer it over technologies such as QR uh, which had an approval rating of 53 percent. Groupon is the next big brand that's pouncing on this Bluetooth low energy technology and it's offering its partner retailers the opportunity to communicate a bit better with, with customers who are, who are located nearby and it allows them to send messages in real time. Using this type of mobile tracking could allow deals to be sent based on the day of the week or even time of day. Their CEO says they expect this tool to be launched by the end of the year. So some really exciting news. This is going to be the largest deployment of beacons ever at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. There's going to be over a thousand of them at 256 different locations. And this is up from 40 last year. So they're going to be everywhere. They'll be used at everything from shuttles to connecting people that are nearby to expediting the queues to learning more information about speakers and musicians. So there's going to be a lot of different uses. And this is the, really the first window into a large scale beacon use case at an event. So we're really excited to see the results. Next up, JIVR Bikes. This is a Kickstarter campaign currently, and they've partnered with Contact.io, which is one of our favorite beacon manufacturers, to uh, put beacons uh, on a bike. So this bike can interact, for example, with your Apple Watch and share information such as how far that you've, you've biked that day. Uh, there'll be a number of other functionalities and Contact.io and, and JIVR are launching a hackathon for app developers to develop different applications that can use these beacons. So we're really excited to, to see the results of this and we expect a, a lot of creativity. Well, that brings us to the end of our top five beacon stories of the week. Thank you for tuning in. Last week we had a very successful webinar recapping the Mobile World Congress. And we're actually launching another one this next week. We're covering our own platform. So in just 30 minutes, you should be ready to launch your own campaign. We're, cover every, we're covering everything from setting up a beacon to the different triggers you can use to launch campaigns. We really hope you can join us. It'll be next Thursday. If you can't make it, uh, send us an email. We'll try and hold another one at some point as well. So again, thank you for your time and we'll catch you next week.